$800 each month for a two bedroom? Oh, hold on. Y'all, a little tip, a little secret. $700 per person? $6,000? Are apartments really this expensive? If you're a Howard student, please do not limit yourself to V Towers. Watch this video to see this entire plethora of places that you can live at. Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Peace. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, hey, hello. My name is Peace, and on this channel, I like to make a lot of college advice and college vlogs. So my plan is to help you thrive your senior year of high school so you can easily transition into college and then thrive there too. Okay, okay. So we have a very long awaited video today and I'm so excited because it took forever. So if you guys don't know, I am a rising graduating senior at Howard University and most upperclassmen at Howard don't stay on campus. It's not by choice <laughs> per se, but we don't stay on campus so we have to find off campus apartments. The only problem is that the search for apartments, especially in a city, like DC, it's a bit hard because you don't know where to start, you don't know how much it is, it's a lot. So I made this guide, this video, really a video that I wish I saw like <laughs> last year when I was a rising junior facing this for the first time. So I literally put together a list of 45, are you listening, 45 DMV apartments. So while I made this video with Howard students in mind, this video is for literally anyone trying to move to the DMV. In this video, it's gonna be broken down, it's gonna be very, 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 very detailed, like all my videos are. So I'm gonna list apartment name, city, distance by mile from Howard, which you can ignore if you're not a Howard student. I was tracking it from the A building, so 2400 6th Street, yeah, so keep that in mind. Distance by time from Howard as well as the rent prices so it's gonna be very detailed it's gonna be quick 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 so this video took me months to plan and days to get all this information all these numbers so please do me a favor and like this video like this video share with a friend but also comment down below it will help us the algorithm more than you know there will also be timestamps down below so you can skip around I recommend you don't you gotta stay around to find out the one that you like also a general rule of thumb it's cheaper to live in the outskirts of DC rather than DC itself which is why I'm also gonna include Maryland as well another rule of thumb the less people in the apartment the more expensive it is so be sure to stick to the ending to find out group chats and links to find roommates to find locations that you can actually share and buy and sell furniture to furnish your apartment so without further ado let's get started y'all these numbers and the rent prices that I'm gonna be giving you guys are the starting price also rent prices change literally every single day so by the time you see this video it will probably be either more or less probably more the way we're going in society today keep that in mind we're gonna start off with DC first because how it is in DC, some people want to be closer. Just keep in mind that if you are staying closer to DC, closer to Howard, it's going to be more expensive. The very first one in DC is called Trellis House Apartments. I lived there last year, my sophomore year, and I absolutely loved it. It was literally right on campus, y'all. If you guys know Towers, that's a upperclassmen dorm. Mm, upperclassmen mm, before COVID, and it's literally right across it. I absolutely love it. It's a bit pricey because it's in DC and it's also right by campus, but I loved it. You guys can definitely check out my apartment tours linked up below and down below. But yeah, so Trellis House Apartments, it's in Northwest DC. It's 0.4 miles from the A building and it's a seven minute walk. So it's literally right on campus. Like if you want to be right on campus, Trellis House is just really, really expensive. For Trellis House, their studio is $20.98. The one bedroom is $24.48. And the two bedroom, it says NA, so I feel like they're full. And when I lived there, their two bedroom was like $35.50. So divided by two, that's like $70. 80. But that was two years ago during COVID. So the prices probably increased because, you know, 
inflation or whatever so the next one the libretto it is in northwest dc it's in columbia heights and it is 0 0.6 miles from howard from the a building and it is a 13 minute walk so it's really 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 close it's a walk y'all a 13 minute walk from the a building it literally says you have to call them for their studio their one bedroom and their two bedroom. The next one is Vernon Place Northeast. So this is actually a house. Houses that you can rent out. Look at apartments.com. Okay, so it's in Northeast DC. It's 3.1 miles and it's a 10 minute drive. So not too far. I couldn't find any prices online for Vernon Place. Uh, what's the next one? The Brandywine Apartments. I actually visited this place and it was really, really nice. It's in Connecticut Avenue. So it's a Northwest DC. It's 3.8 miles. It's a 14 minute drive. And and literally for the one bedroom and the two bedroom, it says you have to call them to figure the price out. For the three bedroom, that's 4100 So divided by three people would be 1366 For the four bedroom, yeah, four bedroom, you have to call them to figure out. The next one, Aventine at Fort Taunton. And I actually visited this place. Like, I love this place, y'all. Um, The only thing was that I was looking for a two bedroom last year. And they were full because I was looking at it too late, you know. But I wanted to live here. This was, this was it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Aventon at Fort Taunton. It's in Northeast DC. It's a 3.6 miles away from campus. It's a 12 minute drive. And the studio, you have to call them to figure out the price. The one bedroom is $18.58. Two bedroom is $24.17, which divided by two is $12.08.50. The next one is Brooklyn Ridge Apartments. It's in Northeast DC. It is 3.3 miles away from campus. It's a 10 minute drive, so not too far. A lot of Places are not far at all. The one bedroom you have to call them to figure out. The two bedroom is twenty one seventy. So divided by two people would be ten eighty five each, which is not bad. Like that's the price of V, which is a you know common Howard apartment, and that's around the same price. And but this right here is closer. <laughs> it's literally ten minutes closer. So that's really really good. The next thing is fortieth place Northwest, and it is in Northwest DC, hence the name. It is four point two miles away from campus. It's a 20 minute drive though, so it's farther than the other ones. However, apartments.com didn't have any available listings, so maybe when you check it, they will, but they didn't for me, so that was kind of rude. The next one is Rhode Island Row. And my friend actually lived here last year. She really really liked it. It's in Northeast DC. It is 2.8 miles away from campus. I believe it's on Connecticut Avenue or I think it's Rhode Island Avenue. What am I saying? <laughs> it's on Rhode Island Avenue. Hence the name. But it is 11 minute drive so it's really not that far. And a lot of these places have the metro too. The studio you have to call them to figure out the price. The one bedroom you have to call them as well. The two bedroom is $32.94 divided by two is 1647 so my friend lived in a two bedroom with her sister and i think i think the price increased a bit because i believe she said it was 1350 each person so it increased by you know 300 each but it's fine i guess they also offer three bedrooms as well but you have to call them to figure out the price the next one the phoenix apartments in dc so it's in northwest dc it is two miles from campus it's 11 minute drive their studio is 1915 their one bedroom is 2004. Next one, Fahrenheit Apartments. This right here is on Georgia Avenue. I think I went to go visit this one, but something went wrong. I can't remember what happened with Fahrenheit. I think like they were closed or something, like or they wouldn't open the door. It was weird. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was that one because I visited a lot of places last year because <laughs> I was going through it. Okay, so Fahrenheit Apartments. It's on Georgia Avenue. It's on Northwest DC, 1.7 miles away. It is a seven minute drive. So it's really, really close. It's a 30 minute walk though, so to prepare for that. For one bedroom, you have to call them to figure out. For their two bedroom, it's $26.75. So that is $13.37.50 each. The three bedroom is $4,000. Ooh. Ooh. That is $13.33 each person. All right. The next one, Griffin Apartments at Pentworth Metro. That's also on Georgia. So it's on Northwest DC. It's 1.1 miles away. So it's literally very, very close to campus. It is six minutes drive. That's a 24 minute walk. So it's not too 
crazy. They offer a studio, one bedroom, and a two bedroom that you have to call them. So either they're booked or their website's not updated or something. So call them all for that one. I really can't give you a range, y'all. So the next one is Brooklyn Apartments. Did I say this one already? Oh, the other one was Brooklyn Ridge Apartments. This one is Brooklyn Apartments, which is, you know, weird, but very, very close. So this is also in Northeast DC. It is 2.4 miles away. It's a nine minute drive and they offer studios to two bedrooms. Their studios is 1756. One bedroom is 1980. Their two bedroom is 2775, which is 1387 and 50 cents for each person. I'd like the average price for a place in DC. It's like everyone pays about 1300 each. That's average. But you know, all right, the very next one, it's Bennington Station Apartments, all right? Bennington Station Apartments. So this is the sister apartments to Affinity on Georgia, which I mentioned already, right? No. I found it on Georgia. It's in Maryland, which I will mention later on when we get to the Maryland apartments. So they're sister apartments. So Bennington Station Apartments. It's in Northeast DC. It's six miles away, so it's a bit further out, which means a 25-minute drive. You know, of course you can still take the metro and stuff, but yeah, it's a good drive away. So one bedroom, it's $12.49, while a two-bedroom is $13.99, which I believe would be $6.95 each person. Did I do that right? That's really, really good. Hold on. Let me check again. Let me check my map. Sorry, it's $6.99 and 50 cents. But that's still really, really good. Like, that's really, really good. That's $700 per person and it's for a two-bedroom. That's really, really good. Hold on. Y'all check that out. Wait a minute. Okay. When I was putting these numbers in, there's just so much numbers. I didn't really get a chance to, like process it but yeah these prices are like they range as you guys can see so don't think you can just skip around <laughs> all right the next one is cloisters dc i really like this place when i was checking because i think they have floor to ceiling windows i really like this place um i don't think i visited it but i saw their videos and their like pictures online it was really really good so cloisters dc it's in northeast dc so it's on michigan avenue it is 1.4 miles away from campus so it's really not that far it's a five minute drive a 25 minute walk if you want to do that offer one bedroom to three bedrooms so no studios sorry so the one bedroom is 1805 and that's actually really affordable compared to no it's not what am i saying <laughs> These prices are a hoot. Woo. So two bedroom is $24.95, which divided by two people would be $12.47.50, which is not too crazy. For the three bedroom, you have to call them for availability, for numbers. Y'all know the drill. The next one is Saratoga Apartments, and it's the sister property of Cloisters. So I actually visited Saratoga, and it was really nice. It's fancy, luxurious, and you can tell based on the rent that you be paying that I'm gonna mention in a second but they're really really good I believe they're on Connecticut they are yeah 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 so it's in Northwest DC it is 3.7 miles away a 15 minute drive so nothing too crazy they offer studio to two bedrooms their studio is 2040 like I said yeah it's a really nice apartment, but you know, you can see it based on the price. <laughs> the one bedroom is $22.30. You guys can see the steepness. You guys are seeing. Their two bedroom is $31.65. So that is $15.82.50, which, you know, is still cheaper than Trellis House that I stayed in that was like $17.80. But yeah. So the next one. The next one is Flats. 130 at Constitution Square. I'm gonna repeat because that's a long name. Flats 130 at Constitution Square. So it's in Northeast DC. It is 2.5 miles away from campus. It's an 11 minute drive, so literally not too far. And they offer studio to two bedroom apartments. All right, so for their studio, their studio is 1892. Their one bedroom is 2061. Their two bedroom is 2702, which divided by two people would be 1350 one each these numbers are uh they're numbering <laughs> but we have like five more left of the dc ones before we move over to the maryland next one is ava h street and this apartment actually offers furnished options the prices i'm gonna give you guys right now they're not furnished but you know the furnished ones will be a little bit more pricey probably like 500 dollars more but you guys just have to check to make sure so ava h street it is actually in northeast dc it is three miles away from campus and it's a 12 minute drive so it's really not that far a studio is 1845 one bedroom is 2115 two bedroom is 28 
825, which divided by two people would be 14, 12, and 50 cents each. All right, the next one is called Avalon at Gallery Place. I have been to Gallery Place quite a bit because there's a lot of like food places nearby, and my you know my friends love to look cute and go out and eat. So I've been to Gallery Place quite a bit, and just like Ava H Street, Avalon at Gallery Place, they also offer furnished options, which you guys have to go check for the prices, but it would be more expensive than the price that I'm about to give you right now. So Avalon at Gallery Place, it is Northwest DC. It is two miles from campus, so nothing too crazy. It's a 12 minute drive, so like I said, nothing too crazy. They offer studio to three bedroom options. The studio, you have to call them. It says NA on their website. Yeah. One bedroom is $23.25. Two bedroom is $35.75. So divided by two would be $17.87 and 50 cents. And that's about the price I paid for trellis. Three bedroom is six thousand mm, hold on. Wait, wait. Three bedroom is sixty twenty? Six thousand and twenty. Yo! This can't be right. Wait. Are apartments really this expensive? Wait a minute. No way. But yeah, this is a. Uh, these are kind of expensive. Wait a minute. Six thousand dollars? Yeah. So a three bedroom at Avalon at Gallery Place is sixty twenty, which is twenty oh six and sixty seven cents per people. So for three people. All right. Next one is the Grove at Parkside. I repeat, the Grove at Parkside. It sounds so fancy. It's giving me bougie vibes. But the prices are really really affordable y'all a little tip a little secret a lot of the places in northeast dc are actually cheaper i don't know why northeast maybe because it's closer to southeast <laughs> but northeast is a bit cheaper than northwest not always but i'm just seeing a pattern here so the grove at parkside it sounds bougie as hell but their prices are really really good so it's in northeast dc 7.5 miles is just further away because it's in northeast and how it is in northwest that's the only thing 20 minute drive their studio is 11.84 one bedroom is 12.44 which that's really really good like that's really really good i've been telling you northeast dc that's where it's at uh the two bedroom is 1477 which divided by two is seven hundred and thirty eight dollars and fifty cents yo that is phenomenal that is phenomenal they also have three bedrooms which is 1693 which divided by three people is 564 dollars and 33 cents i might have to check this out let me highlight this hold on hold on because what okay all right the next one is 2321 fourth street apartments yes that is the name of the apartment but that is also the address of said apartment yeah mm-hmm yeah 2321 that's a mouthful anyways that apartment is located in northeast dc it is two miles from campus and it's an eight minute drive so the walk will probably be about 20 25 minutes i didn't check that one but they offer a studio to three bedroom apartment for the studio you have to get oh for all of them wow hold on. for all the studio the one bedroom two bedroom and the three bedroom you have to give them a call i don't know why but check out their site but yeah it's really really close to campus too actually this is fourth street so this is actually right on chn right yeah, that's the same street as CHN. Check it out. It'll probably be expensive, though, because it's right on Howard's campus. But you will see. The next one is Station House. This is in Northeast DC. It's three miles from campus. 11-minute drive. They offer studio to three-bedroom apartments. Studio is starting from 2087. Ooh, we starting off high, aren't we? One bedroom is 2438. Oh, it's increasing. Ha! Ah, okay. Two-bedroom is 3052. So divided by two people would be 1526. Three bedroom is 48. Mm, sorry, I threw up a little bit. <laughs> three bedroom is 4818, which divided by three people would be 1606. So the very next one, the very last one for the DC apartments before we move on to the Maryland apartments is 2M Street Apartments. So it's in Northeast DC. It's 2.6 miles away, a 10 minute drive, and it offers studio to to three bedroom apartments. The studio is 1287. The one bedroom is 1464. The two bedroom is 1641, which divided by two would be $820.50. The three bedroom would be 3872. Divided by three would be 1290 and 67 cents. 
Alright, so that was that for the DC apartments. We're about to move over to the Maryland apartments. Y'all, if you're liking this video so far, if it's helpful in any way, shape, or form, please do me a favor and give me a big fat like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, like really, really help your girl out and share with a friend, especially if you're Howard Bison. Like, I know y'all are struggling out here, so share with your girls, with the boys, with the non binary fellas. We have 21 more. We just finished 24. If you're a Howard student, please do not limit yourself to V Towers. Why? Watch this video to see this entire plethora of places that you can live at. So without further ado, let's get started. So I had to start off the Maryland one with V Towers. It's located in Highsville, Maryland. It's 5.8 miles away. It is 19 minute drive. Y'all, if you're a Howard student, you probably know what V Towers is, but if you're not, V Towers is basically where a lot of Howard students and it's you know pretty affordable they offer you know one bedroom two three they even offer four by four so right now because a lot of Howard students go to V Tower that's their go-to it's always sold out like right now it is sold out <laughs> but they said that their four by four is 11.59 each V comes furnished so that's really really good but a lot of people who live in V they don't really always like it yeah it's affordable but it's really really small the same price that you be spending at V you can really be spending it somewhere else that's much 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 bigger so I always recommend my friends to not stay in V I still have a few of my friends who did stay at V and I still visited them of course but they don't really like it like that I'm not going cap the next one is Naza Grand Mark. So I actually stayed at Naza last year through Howard's emergency housing I had a whole I'm homeless at Howard video <laughs> <laughs> definitely check that out but yeah also check out my apartment tour I have two the unfurnished as well as the furnished apartments check it out Mazda it's located in College Park and it's 10.6 miles away so it's further out so that's 30 minute drive so it's further out however Howard offers a shuttle just like um with V V also they have a shuttle as well the Howard offers a shuttle and I'm kind of used to the 30 minutes so I may probably stay there next year most likely but you know yeah I I'm used to the 30 minutes if you have a car you're good it's still a good drive. Mazda also comes furnished as well. And it's really much, much spacious. Like, my friends that live in V would come over to Mazda. And they're like, wow, you have this? So much space, so much this. Even though Mazda is far, like, Mazda is where it's at. I'm not gonna lie. I lived at Mazda last year, like I said. But I lived through, like, this partnership that Mazda had with Howard. Mazda went on, like, it was a good, almost $6,000. It went on as my Howard bill. On my Howard pay, like, my e-pay, my tuition and all that. So that means I didn't have to pay, like, rent and utilities and stuff like that. That you would at other places. Because everything was included. You know what I mean? So I really enjoyed that. Like, I paid my, my Howard bill and I was good. I didn't have to worry about the monthly payments. Yeah, some people still did just rent out Mazda itself. If you have any questions, is literally drop down that below um but yeah a normal one bedroom at Mazda it's 1700 two bedroom is 1075 each three bedroom is 975 each a four bedroom is 900 each so as you guys can see it's much 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 cheaper on um, the very next one is called Post Park Maryland Apartments and it's also in Heightsville a lot of these places are in Heightsville they're really really close to each other they're right on the same street or maybe two streets away my friend lived in Post Park they're really 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 spacious like she had big big space it's in Heightsville it is close to V it is 6.2 miles it's a 90 minute drive they offer studio to two bedroom options so the studio was 1755 the one bedroom was 1985 and the two bedroom was 2195 so divided by two would be 1098 each so the next one is the Highland Apartments I wanted to live here but like I said earlier I found out about it too late, so they were full. Apartments in Hyattsville, they're really, really good. Like, they're close to V, like crazy close. So the next one is the Highland Apartments. It's also in Hyattsville, Maryland. It is six miles away from campus, a good 19-minute drive. They offer studio to two-bedroom options. So the studio is 1575. One-bedroom option is 1675. The two-bedroom is 2005, which divided by two would be 1002 and 50 cents each person. The next one was the addition. I really like this place. 
place. Yeah, when I tell you guys, all these high school places, I really, really like them. The addition, not only does it sound fancy, but it was really nice. It's also in high school, Maryland. It is 6.2 miles away from campus. A 17-minute drive. They offer a studio to three bedroom options. So the studio is $18.93. The one bedroom is $19.62. The two bedroom is $24.56. So that is $12.28 each person. The three bedroom is $26.46. So that's $882 each person. So like I said, pretty, pretty affordable. I just don't want to live with two other people. Like I stick with two bedrooms because I feel like living in one bedroom can sometimes be lonely. And living in a three bedroom, while it can be cheaper, I like to deal with two other people. That's a lot. And the studio is literally just off the table because I can't sleep and eat and do my homework in the same place. It would just drive me crazy, okay? But yeah, that was the addition. The next one is the Mosaic. Mosaic? How do you want to say it? Mosaic I Metro Apartments. It's in Hyattsville, Maryland. 6.3 miles away. A 19 minute drive. They offer studio to three bedroom options. The studio, you have to call them because... It's not on their side. One bedroom is 1820. Two bedroom is 2403. Divided by two people would be 1201 and 50 cents each person. Three bedroom is uh 2964. So divided by three people would be $988 each. Y'all see the trend? If you guys want a place that's less than a thousand dollars, definitely go somewhere in Heightsville and get like a two or three bedroom, and y'all will be straight. The next one is 3350 at Altera. So Altera is this one street. It's in Hyattsville, Maryland. It's really close to V as well. All those places are really close to V. It's 6.4 miles, an 18 minute drive. They offer a studio to three bedroom apartments as well. For the studio, you have to call them though. But one bedroom is 1808. Two bedroom is 2147. Divided by two would be 1073 and 50 cents each. Oh, this is a math for y'all. Three bedroom is 2684. Divided by three people would be eight eight hundred and ninety five dollars each y'all all these numbers and i hate math i hate numbers so the fact that i'm doing this for y'all that speaks volumes y'all be sure to like while i'm drinking this water <sighs> let me stop all right the next one it's link at altera it's literally the same street as 3350 at altera so it's in high school maryland 6.5 miles from campus an 18 minute drive they offer studio to three bedroom apartments as well studio is 1850 one bedroom is 1985 two bedroom is 2340 which is 1170 each three bedroom is 3275 which is 1092 each the next one is the Plaza Apartments. It is literally right next to Link, which is also right next to Altera. Y'all get the gist. Which is literally like a five minute drive from V. It is in Highsville, Maryland. 6.7 miles away from campus. A 20 minute drive. But I could not find a single price for their like options. So you have to call them to figure out their quotes. Okay. Next one is Plaza Towers Apartments. It's in Highsville, Maryland. 6.7 miles. 20 minute drive. They offer studio to three bedroom options. The studio is, you gotta ask them yourself. <laughs> one bedroom is 1550 two bedroom is 1925 which divided by two people you know the drill is 962 dollars and 50 cents three bedroom is 2220 which divided by three people would be 700 okay 740 dollars each person that's really really affordable we're almost done y'all i think we have like 10 left it's a lot if y'all like the video yet thanks <laughs> y'all it's like 3 a.m and i'm still pushing through just for y'all so the next one is 800 southern avenue apartment homes that's a mouthful i'm gonna say it again that's literally five names what is going on 800 southern avenue apartment homes it's in high school maryland as well it's a 9.7 miles a 25 minute drive so it's further out they had no info on their site however they said that the price range was 10.99 to 16.25 for a studio to a two bedroom that's just really affordable i think because it's further out i'm not sure but yeah that's really really affordable 
Next one, Hyattsville House Apartments. I never understood why places have house and apartments. I feel like it just contradicts itself, but whatever. So Hyattsville House Apartments, HHA, is located in Hyattsville, duh. Six miles away, it's a 19 minute drive. They only had one bedroom, one bathroom apartment that was listed on their site, and it was listed for $12.99, so you can call them for more options or to snag that spot, whatever you want. Next one is Prince George's Apartments, which you know, Hyattsville, that's in PG, that's in Prince George County. Um, so it's in Hyattsville, Maryland, 5.6 miles away from campus, a good 17 minute drive. Once again, just like the other one, they only had one bedroom, one bathroom listed, but this time this was listed for 1200. Next one, is that the air? Y'all ignore the air. Kirkwood Apartments, this is once again, really, really close to everything else. It's 10 minutes from V. So it's in Hyattsville, Maryland, 5.6 miles away, 17 minute drive, they offer a studio to two bedroom options the studio is 11.39 the one bedroom is 12.43 the two bedroom is 15.98 so divided by two would be 79 799 dollars each person that's really really good y'all looking at this prices mm -hmm. 800 dollars each month for a two bedroom y'all definitely check it out hold on the next one is called Wisconsin Place Apartments. This is in Chevy Chase, Maryland. It's basically Hyattsville, but it has a different like city name, so we'll put it as that. It is 6.5 miles away from campus, 22 minute drive. They offer a studio to two bedroom as well. This studio is 22.13. Their one bedroom is 25.93. Their two bedroom is 39.27. Divided by two is 19.63 and 50 cents each person. So that's 2K each person. Saying that's just rent. Why is it so expensive? And you're in Chevy Chase, Maryland? Like, where is that? What? No. Anyways, Top of the Park. I love the name. Like, so cute. Top of the Morning. Top of the Park is in Hyattsville, Maryland. It is 5.6 miles away. A 17 minute drive. They offer one bedroom to three bedrooms. So, no studios here. One bedroom is 1720. Two bedroom is 1852. Which divided by two people would be $926 each. Three bedroom is 2031. Which divided by three would be $677. Y'all, these three bedrooms in Hyattsville are looking better and better as we speak because of the price. But it's really about finding good roommates, you know? The next one, Arrive Silver Spring. It's on Georgia Avenue, but if you guys don't know, Georgia Avenue is a very, very long street. And it's in D.C., but it also goes into Silver Spring, Maryland. And that's where this place is. So Arrive Silver Spring. Huh? You've arrived at Silver Spring. <laughs> Okay. It's in Silver Spring, Maryland. It is 5.9 miles away. A 24 minute drive. They offer studio to three bedroom options. Studio is 1605. One bedroom is 1625. Two bedroom is 2220, which divided by two people would be 1110 each. Three bedroom is 2640. 2640 divided by three people would be $880 each. The next place is Affinity on Georgia. It is also the on Georgia Avenue, but it's on the Silver Spring, Georgia Avenue. So it's located in Silver Spring, Maryland. 4.8 miles, 19 minute drive. The studio is 1768. The one bedroom is 1771. The two bedroom is 2476 divided by two. Y'all know the drill. It is $1238 each person, which is really not that bad. Oh, I visited Affinity on Georgia, y'all. They had a lot of options. It was really, really nice too. Why didn't I get it? Was that the one that was on the train tracks I remember one of those places on Georgia the Silver Spring Georgia they were on the train tracks and I was like I didn't want to be near trains like imagine living near trains that's a lot that's a lot of sounds I'm not sure if it was that one or something else I can't remember but I think it was that one but I'm not sure go visit it to be sure though the next one is London Court Apartments it's in High School Maryland five miles away from campus it is 17 minute drive I could only find one bedroom options on their page so one bedroom is thirteen seventy five. You guys can call them for more options, but y'all, we have two more. But before we get there, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're almost done. Ow! I hurt myself for y'all too. Y'all better like. <laughs> so I have the money to go pay for it.
So the very next one is the Bennington, and it is basically the sister to Affinity on Georgia. It's in Silver Spring, Maryland, 4.8 miles from campus, and a 20-minute drive. So they offer studio to two-bedroom options. The studio is $17.29. One bedroom is $19.38. So two-bedroom is $23.48 divided by two would be $11.74 each person. The very, very last one for Maryland for this video before I move on to the links and group chats and stuff. It's called LaSalle. LaSalle. I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but it's so pretty. LaSalle Park Apartments. It is in Chillum, Maryland, which is basically Heightsville. It's just a different, like, city. 4.5 miles, 14 minute drive. I saw one bedroom and two bedroom options. The one bedroom was 1220. The two bedroom was 1450. So divided by two people would be $727.50 each, which is really, really good. So that was the, the DC and the Maryland options. That was literally 40 five oh god that was a lot y'all please give me a like comment subscribe let me know which one you're feeling based on the ones you've heard about based on the videos the ones you visited like not only for it to help me but also give some tips if you've lived in any of these places because you know i couldn't visit all of them so tell me oh do you live at affinity or georgia how was it do you live at the Bennington, how was it? So on and so forth. So the next part of this video, the very last part, is the websites you need to use. So to find apartments, I recommend apartments.com. Just search up affordable apartments. If this list is not satisfactory for you, which, you know, it should be. Um, You can also really just ask your friends and ask upperclassmen. Like, I would say ask me, but... I just gave you all that I have. You can still DM me or comment on Milana. I'll help you. But you can ask other upperclassmen or other of your friends who live in the DMV which one they recommend. The next one is group me. Um, I have two group me's to share with you guys. So that is the Howard Off Campus Housing Group Me. I will link it down below. It's basically just a group chat of Howard people trying to find roommates. So they'll be like, Oh, I'm looking for a roommate, I have a place, or it's the other way around. I have a roommate, but we don't have a place, like so on and so forth. Another group me I want to share with you guys is the DMV buy and sell and this is really how you can furnish your place for cheap so you can buy stuff off of other people like people are moving out of their place so instead of selling on Craigslist or whatever which you can also use use Craigslist and Facebook marketplace but also use this link it will also be linked down below all right some streets that can be really helpful that you can just go search and just walk up and down or just drive down the street to find possible places near Howard's campus just look on Michigan Avenue New Hampshire Avenue Bellcrest road east west highway northeast dc the region as a whole yeah i will also have an apartment hunting tips and tricks video how i found my apartments and how you can do as well what i learned so you don't make some mistake this is a very long video i tried speaking fast too so it wouldn't be too long i don't know if it worked it still feel like it's a long video yeah this is a very tedious video if this video was helpful in any way shape or form please share with your friends i really want to help my fellow bison but i also want to help y'all that are moving into the dmv check out my dmv things i wish i knew before moving here check out my apartment tour check out it all the girl is tired and i still have another video to film and i want to go to bed by 4 a.m it's a scholarship video so gotta put some pep in your stuff if you like this video be sure to like comment subscribe share with a friend and if you made it to the ending you are a real one and i want everyone else to know that you're a real one too so be sure to comment mm, hashtag hydrated because i gotta stay hydrated after this entire fiasco okay hashtag hydrated if you made it this far and until next time peace out that's some good water